This is the world's oldest known synthetic material. It makes Neanderthals, and not us, the inventors of perhaps the first industrial process. But how could an allegedly primitive species have done this? To find out more, Will Robrooks decides to mount an experiment with a colleague, Friedrich Palmer. They will try to replicate the Neanderthal technique of pitch extraction, a complex process called dry distillation. Crucially, they'll use only the materials available to Neanderthals 250,000 years ago. An upturned animal skull to catch the pitch. A small stone on which the pitch would condense. Some rolls of birch bark, the source of the pitch and a layer of ash to exclude oxygen and prevent the bark from burning. Robrooks and Palmer need to heat the bark to 400 degrees centigrade. Any less, and it won't produce pitch. Any more, and it will simply burn. After eight hours, any pitch should have condensed on the stone within the skull. Today, Robrooks and Palmer managed to extract only a tiny smear of pitch. Yeah. That's not much. They are on the right track, but it isn't nearly enough to glue a spearhead to a shaft, as the Neanderthals did. It seems this experiment is on too small a scale to produce enough pitch. Neanderthals must have figured out how to scale up the technique in a way we haven't yet reproduced. However they managed it, the Neanderthals had evidently mastered a complex thermal process. <laughs> 